Please all stand for the entrance hymn. Pagsilang ng Panginoon Halin at magdiwang sa Diyos na banan Puri siya tawitan Kanyang kalawal at iay Mihayat sa ating tuwat Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace to God our Father, and the immense love of the Son who became human, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers. Good afternoon, Father. Today is the feast commemorating the male children slain instead of Jesus by King Herod in his desire to eliminate the newborn king. This episode echoes Moses' rescue from the slaughter of the Hebrew children by the Pharaoh in uh, the book of Genesis. And like a new Moses, Jesus will lead his people on a new exodus, journeying into God's promised kingdom. May we too be witnesses for our Lord Jesus Christ. And to be worthy of this celebration, let us scrutinize our hearts, acknowledging our sinfulness and imperfection, asking the Lord for forgiveness, empowerment. We humbly pray, I confess to Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, Lord Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confess and proclaim on this day, not by speaking but by dying, grant we pray that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in Him there is no darkness at all. If we say, we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness. We lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make Him a liar and His word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Son, our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Please repeat. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our health, our health is in the name of the Lord, 
who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord, the white proud Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi has departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother. Flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod that what the Lord has said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. There was fulfilled what had been said to the Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Rama, sobbing and loud lamentation. Rachel weeping for her children, and she could not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers. Good afternoon, Father. Today is supposedly the fourth day of Christmas. What have you received from your true love? Ano ba ang tinanggap na ninyo sa true love ng buhay ninyo? Our true love is God. And... God bestowed on us the preciousness of, and beauty of our lives. Let us clap our hands for this truth. But our biblical reading is somewhat macambre, full of horror, gruesome. Because the age's old question, why innocent people or children suffer? Bakit ba nagdurusa 
ang mga walang kamuangan o inesente. I hope you will reflect upon the situation in Gaza Strip, in Ukraine, as well as in places where violence abound. Malagim, puspos ng panganib. The womb of the mother is supposedly the safest part of the earth. Ang sinapupunan ng isang ina ang pinakamapayapang panig ng mundo sa larangan ng sangnilika. We have a lot of uh, peacekeeping forces and yet the peace is somewhat elusive. Para bagang hindi mo kayang mahawakan at uh, magkamayroon ka ng kapanatagan para ikay makatulog ng mahimlay. Ginising ng anghel ng Diyos si San Jose. Magbadili ka. Dalhin mo ang sanggol at ang kanyang ina. Ilikas sa Ehipto. Ano po kaya ang pakiramdam pagka ikaw ay mapapapunta sa pook na wala kang kakilala? Ni hindi mo alam ang mga lingwahe o kaya kung ano pa mang mode of conversation. You will be isolated. Ang tanong, bakit ba pinapayagan ng Diyos ang ganitong mga kaganapan sa buhay? Bakit kinakailangang may pumanaw para kita'y maging matiwasay? This is the subject of our conversation in our lunch time moment. Sabi kasi nung isang pare, eh, namatayan siya. Dagok ng kapalaran. And uh, with the younger clergy, they also experience this kind of mess, violence in life. Napakarami pong mga sanggol ang namamatay. At ang pinakamatindi pang kamatayan, hindi pa na isisilang o bago pa lamang na isisilang ay pumapanaw na. Because are they collaterals of violence? Merong nag-aaway na kapitbahay? Tatamaan ng bala? Nang punglo ang sanggol? Ito po ay horrific experience. Traumatic. In a way, how could we cope the grief? Ano? Kaya hamon sa atin ngayon yung coping with grief. Yung iba, na ibubuntun sa pag-inom ng alak. Yung iba, nagpapakalayo-layo upang takasan kumbaga ang kalagayan. Pero tayo, sino ang ating pinaghuhugutan ng kalakasan sa ating buhay at pagkakabuhay? Paano natin maaagwantahan ang mga ganitong pangyayari na traumatic? We used to talk functioning family, pero family dysfunction, brokenness. Nais nating pumunta ng abroad to earn a greater or greener pasture and yet pagbalik natin may kabigo ang pa ang ating mga pinaggagawa sa buhay ito po ay isang palaisipan para sa atin at times there are people with the, the kind of resistance to the connection between politics and religion. Yung iyong mga persuasions and uh, 
the kind of uh, manner of living na gusto mong isabuhay. Kaya hamon sa atin ang dialogue of life. Faith witnessing. Pag po nagka roon ng tinatawag na pagbabaka ang relihiyon at politika, mga ideological persuasions, pagkat we are greedy or abuse of our power, katulad ni Haring Herodes, ayaw niya nga may kakompetensya sa kapangyarihan. Kaya kahit asawa niya, kapatid niya, ipinapapatay din po ni Haring Herodes. Gayon po, kaselfish, kag kagreedy o adik sa kapangyarihan ang isang uh, evil na nakalukluk sa kapangyarihan. Kaya huwag mong aakalain ito pong ating pagninilay ay personal lamang o wala tayong uh, maituturing na ano ang kaugnayan nito sa buhay ko? Pag pinag-uusapan po natin ang spirituality, yung po'y totality of human existence. We could not ignore or isolate ourselves from politics, from culture, from social and cultural dimension of existence. Saklaw po yun, pagkabanalan ang pinag-uusapan. Ang alam natin ay ako na may nagadasal o nagasimba lamang ay nasaan yung binabanggit nating to enlarge the space of our tent. Huwag mong sasabihin ang Merry Christmas ay nasa sa iyo lamang. Mali po yun. Dapat ang Christmas ay ipadama rin natin ang tuwa at galak, ang kapayapaang dulot nito sa ating kapwa. Our Vatican documents, Vatican II, Lumen Gentium, ano ba ang simbahan? Gaudium et spes, the situation of hope and anguish of the people of God. Kung ano po yung nararamdaman na pain, full experience, trauma brought about by discriminating political and economic landscape, ayun po ay pighati din natin. Pakigdabang dalamhati natin at pakikiramay natin pagkat ang Diyos na nagkatawang tao, inako ang ating kalagayan, God becoming human, so that each one of us will become divinized. Ito rin po, ay ang ating pangarap. Ito rin ang ating mission. Mission of communion and participation as a journeying church. Simbahang naglalakbay patungo sa paghahari ng Diyos. May pakialam tayo. Meron tayong tungkuling ayusin ang ating economic, political, cultural and societal milieu para sa gayon ang buong mundo ang sangkatauhan magkamayroon ng kalwalhatian pagkat sabi natin glory to God in the highest and peace to people of goodwill kaya mag magiging uh, tagapagdala tayo ng kapayapaan We must become the voice of the voiceless. Yung mga walang kakayahang dumaing dahilan sa sila'y sinisikil ng maiigting ng mga kaganapan sa buhay. Hamon ito sa atin. Pag-uwi natin mula kay Santo Padre Pio National Shrine, we will bring peace, environment that is conducive to life. To our children in the neighborhood, even in the urban poor, in the province poor, pagkat ang isang Kristiano hindi mpo ding mag 
halukipkip o walang imik sa mga hindi makatao na nagaganap sa ating kapaligiran. Sabi ng first reading, God is light. Kung ang God is light, you must be illuminative in your manner of living. Hindi ka dapat kasangkot sa pagbibigay ng lagim at kamatayan sa iyong kapwa. The incumbrances of sin and death must be eradicated in our life because the love of God finds in home in our hearts. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain seated. For those with envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection baskets. Song, song, good, on up, long, ang siyang isinilang ngayon sa Belen. Dulot niya ay kaligtasan at kapayapaan sa sanlibutan. Siya'y prinsipe ng kapayapan at tagapayo ng mga tao siya'y mawawari naman ang lahat Please all stand The table of the Lord is now ready Pray my sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve this, your mysteries by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit to whom you have lifted up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in His own divine nature, He has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, as well as those who are in the service of evangelization. The missionaries, the catechists, the children, the youth, the families, as well as the various ministries, those who are in advocacy for social justice and peace, restorative justice, environmental concern, wherein we promote the sacredness and dignity and human rights. We pray also for those who are in government service, men and women in uniform, those who are imprisoned, those who have been affected by wars, violence, those who are ministering to them, doing rescue, relief, rehabilitation in the spirit of Alay Kapwa. We pray also for those who are celebrating their birthdays, anniversaries, those who are commended for our prayers and intention to Santo Padre Pio. We pray for all our personal intentions as well as those who are sick and those who are ministering to them, especially the medical personnel, those who are working in uh, all hospitals and clinics. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection our departed parents, my own father, David Senior, 
ina pilisidad my brothers Edwin Marian John Lemuel Rainier Scarlett Domingo Florencia Marcelino Ana and our own family were in we grieve at the departure or anniversary of their departure. The souls in purgatory welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostle Saint Peter, Saint Paul, Saint Thomas, Saint uh, John the Baptist, Saint John Maria Vianney, Saint Thomas Becket, whose feast will be tomorrow, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we may we merit as cohorts to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. Baptized in water and Holy Spirit, we become God's children. And so we have the courage to sing the prayer of God's family. Our Father, who art in heaven, grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other in love, joy and forgiveness, the signs of peace and Christmas blessings. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. 
For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold uh, those redeemed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the love, and who followed the Lamb wherever He goes. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter Satan under my heaven, roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your generosity.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of this your saints who though still unable to profess your son in his speech were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Vietnam, China, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, as we, we pray are, we that you pray concede. That you concede. Bless, and Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. fulfilled. From, From sin, sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We, we also beseech thee, servant, servant of, of the Most Holy, holy to instruct us in the gospel, gospel that, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly, to not, not sin, sin again, again to, always to always follow God, God the Father, Father together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. The Mediator. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una po sa inyong pagdalaw dito sa Pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad po namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong konting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita po ninyo sa paligid ng ating simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala na rin ng inyong pagbisita dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW, at kung kayo po ay may mga kasamang foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa at sana po'y panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Maari na po tayong magsitayo para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time-team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya, ibuhos mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, langis, religious articles and items na nagpapalaala ng iyong kabutian, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoong Heso Kristo at ng mga banal Magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ang banal na tubig na wang ito ay magpaalaala ng pagkikiisa sa pagpakasakit, kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo sa sakramento ng binyag. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Ama namin, sumasa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay sumasa iyo. 
Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, panalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Lualhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Lolhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Today is also the seventh day of Novena, honoring Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. The Sagrada Familia, whose feast we will be celebrating this coming Sunday. Heavenly Father, you have given us the model of life in the Holy Family of Nazareth. Help us to make our family another Nazareth where love, peace, and joy reign. May the Eucharistic Sacred Heart of Jesus make our hearts humble like you. May we love one another as God loved each one of us more and more each day and forgive each other's fault as you forgive our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Pray for us. Santo Padre Pio, Holy Innocent, and all the saints. Pray for us. Ako po, si Reverend Father Ulysses Santos Valenzuela Ribamonte, taga Marinduque. Kami rin po ay humihingi ng inyong panalangin, pagmamahal at tulong sa proyekto ng diocese na pinangungunahan ni Bishop Marcelino Antonio Maralit Jr. na taga rito sa Batangas. Nagpapagawa po kami ng bahay pari na magsisilbing bahay na titerhan ng mga matatanda at lalo na ang may sakit naming mga pari. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panalangin, pagmamahal at tunasyon. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in all your ways. Thanks be to God. A blessed Christmas, grace-filled New Year to everyone. Ang Pasko ay sumapit Tayo'y mga siyawit ng magagandang ibig dahil sa Diyos ay pag-ibig nang si Kristo'y silang may tatlong aring nagsidalang at ang bawat isa ay nagsipaghandog ng tanging alam.